guys and welcome back to finding shiro i am shiro and we are finding her so <laughs> i am coming at you today from nairobi i am in kenya oh, it's a beautiful beautiful day today i think you can see the sun is shining it's oh amazing it's been a, it's been a while since i was here and that's for a couple of reasons i re i have i've been really i was really really um busy at work and then we had the holiday so we're in kenya now and that has just been yeah it's been going well it's been going very well i've really enjoyed i'm really enjoying myself but it's also a lot uh, so that's why i've been missing i'm still editing the videos for from the surgery there's a part two coming it's coming please bear with me it is coming thank you so much for finding value in this content i am very 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 happy thank you thank you thank you for all the messages now i know that i do have a lot of new subscribers guys we are as i checked let me just check right now just to make sure that i am saying the right thing we are as we speak um 2276 subscribers up from 23 subscribers so i am so so grateful for all of you that are here all the new guys welcome welcome to this space this is a space where i'd like us to create a place where we can have open uh, open hearted conversations where we can talk about everything and anything um and i hope that you find value um as you've been watching my content here i know a lot of you are not really considering the gastric sleeve and this is not really a channel that is a gastric sleeve related um that has gastric sleeve related content it's really about finding ourselves and we can find ourselves in many ways one of my ways was through the gastric sleeve surgery and it was the last step after a long journey of nine years of finding myself so this is a space where we're going to be talking about all that so if you're not interested in gastric sleeve stuff please do not uh, do not leave there's a lot of content coming um, that is going to be empowering, that's going to be enriching, that's going to be uh, um, inspiring and edifying as well. So I hope you stick around. Uh, yeah. So as you can tell from the title of this video, we are going to do, or what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be reading your comments. Guys. Okay. So I did this video with Lynn Gogi uh, and I know a lot of you actually, 2000 plus, are from Lynn Gogi. I have seen every one of you that has commented i have also uh, I've written you back thank you very much for for coming karibu karibu sana um and uh <laughs> and i have seen i have also read all your comments but there's 1.5 k comments i can't really go in and start replying to each one of them i have been i've been really impacted by every comment that everyone has written on that video i'm really really appreciative thank you very much i'm totally overwhelmed totally totally overwhelmed um so thank you thank you thank you and i just want to say a big big karibu to all of you coming from lean karibu sana welcome 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 to this space um and asantini sana so what you're going to do as the video as uh, the title says is i am going to read some comments and i'm going to react to them um i have taken a mixture of of all i've taken the good the bad and the ugly. i have taken some questions as well and that's what we're going to be looking at i have them all here and what i will have them all here and what i'm going to do is um is i don't know if i, if I honestly i don't know if i'm going to put the, the the comments in the on the video here that's a lot of editing it really is a lot of editing and i want to get this video out because i promised this video out to send this video out to you guys um as soon as possible so um, let's see let's see how much how much i'll do but i will read out the comments and if i can pronounce the username i will read that as well okay so um, um i will also link the video to lynn googie's uh, interview down here in the description box this is basically for those who haven't watched that video uh, so you understand what the context of that video is so that as i can read the comments here you'll understand where we are coming from all right good so let's get started. So starting us out is Rosaline314 at Rosaline314. And this is what she says. She says, can't imagine how her, how her kids will react when they fully understand what kind of a man their father is. So sad. And then there are other two people that com commented under that and said so sad. And how sad is that? Um, um, well, Rosaline, thank you for your comment. And, 
and I do realize since this is, since this is, is viewed as a very taboo topic and because there's a lot of emotions in it um, I, and there's also sadness in it, to it as well there's also sadness there's also a sadness factor to it but uh, human beings are human beings and and they all have their proclivities they all have their their um, their strengths and weaknesses um, and this happens to be his uh, I mean it, it no way his proclivities no way define my children or who they are as people and how they go about life and how they will how they will go about life it, it plays no role at all in their lives um, thankfully for God's grace and and um, and, the, and the community that he's given us um, there is no there's nothing missing there's nothing there so I understand where your heart is coming from but uh, we're good and they are good they are really good and they do fully understand what has happened if, in case for those who do not know my children do fully understand what has happened and they, they do know um, um yeah so thank you rosaline the next uh, comment comes from rural water initiative fossili 8481 and she says or they say i think you should have forgiven him he needed your help um i have forgiven him I don't know what makes you think that I have not forgiven him or what makes you think that I had not forgiven him then. I had forgiven him and I have forgiven him. Uh, and yes, he needed my help. I don't know if he needed my help. I think he needed he needs God's help. Uh, <laughs> don't we all? We all need God's help. Um, um, I am not a rehabilitation center. That's not who I am. I'm not a rehabilitation center for anybody, for any man, for any woman. I'm not a rehabilitation center. I'm not the one who is going to fix or change or, or, or parent or raise anybody. So, and understanding that, no, he didn't need my help. He needs God's help. And he also maybe needs to take some uh, responsibility. So, yeah. But about forgiving him, he's forgiven a long time ago. Okay. Uh, the Broken Silence, at The Broken Silence, she wrote, P.S. Her ex-husband uh, must have had a field stay in the Philippines because the Philippines are well known are a well-known playground for Western pedophiles. They uh, pay parents money online to see their children naked or get uh, children to commit sexual acts while they watch and take part. Africans need to watch over their children too because a lot of sick people are traveling up to the continent and doing the same thing. Do not trust your child with any foreigner whether in a school hospital or hospital and do not encourage your children to take gifts from foreigners i totally agree i totally 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 agree with everything that at the broken silence says and this is what actually happened so the people who could not connect the dots at the broken silence has actually connected the dots for you okay good go and thank her in the comment section sour sour good the next the next comment comes from a very dear classmate and schoolmate that i had in through high school her name is Kai, kaigongi mboroki uh so at kaigongi mboroki 786 and she says my classmate melissa i always knew you were not an ordinary girl quite a storyteller you have done a great job more grace to you asante sana kaigongi thank you very much i am really, really i was so pleased to get comments from from a lot of my schoolmates and my classmates and people that i know personally and i took this one because it was one that one of the first ones that showed up and um yeah just to represent all of you guys that i that i know if you know you wrote a comment in that section kaigong is representing you guys asante nisana thank you for all of you guys um, um then there's um at beatrice owino 7819 and she says lean among all the lnn episodes let me swear uh, that this was the most entertaining and educative of them all Melissa, you, you are a very bright girl. I wish Lynn could organize with you another episode when she, where she could teach and enlighten the women and mothers more on the red flags to watch out for because pedophiles exist even in our society. At Bridget Subino, thank you very much for your comment. Asante sana. Um, um, and uh, yes, we are working on an episode where we're going to be talking about red flags with Lynn Gugi. It's probably going to be a panel discussion. You'll see it. We'll catch it on her channel. So yeah. That's about that. The next one comes from at Philips. Philips I told Japan, fourteen sixteen. I'm gonna put it that, that the handle here, and this is what he says. Despite all the evidence, she had massive dysfunctions and contributed to the marriage failing. Um, as much as 
as much as or more than the man, she still calls him a narcissist, an overly misused word that has become synonymous with jiltedness. He had issues with porn, you had issues with, with anger. Maybe the failure was because none of you saw their mistakes for what they are, only focused on the other party. What is here to learn? The woman wants to paint a picture of a saint married to a witch. Really, despite all the evidence, she had many issues too. He loved that I watched for missionary. Nothing here. People who don't understand Swahili, that last part says, um, I wouldn't watch this to learn anything. I would only watch this uh, for, for, for clout or for, for gossip. Well, Phillips, thank you for your comment. Um, thank you for taking time to watch the video. I hope you watched all of it because if you did watch the whole of the whole video, then then what you might be having is a problem to understand what happened, or maybe a, a problem of, of understanding or following a story. Because I did not paint myself as, as a saint in any way, shape, or form. I do. I am a human being and I do have my flaws and I know what my flaws are. And I was not even telling his story. I was telling my story from a perspective that I wanted to tell it from. Um, and this is what this is a, a, from a perspective of wanting to empower and also shed light on this on this uh, menace that, it, it, that, that is in our society. Um, I did not to really talk about the marriage and, and, and the breakdown of it. I do not necessarily say that that was the only reason that caused us to 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 separate or to divorce. I also did not say that I did not have any problems. So no, I did not paint myself as a saint. I of course you are entitled to your own op opinion. If you think that I painted myself as a saint, hey, you do you, I'll do me. I just know that I did not do that. I I yeah. Yes, I did not also only focus on the other party. I was actually telling my story. He's welcome to tell his story if he's, if he's interested. Yes. Um, um, the next one comes from uh, Hanangigi 162 at Hanangigi 162. And you say, from a friend's invitation to chat for love, becoming the victim of love and a victim of violence in one plate. She's a strong lady and a, a no nonsense black beauty. The part of throwing his monitor outside the window was a clear definition of what she's made of. The wrestling part made me fear her and the boldness to call the police. This to me was a real movie, but then a true story. She made my weekend. And Hannah, I am so <laughs> I don't know what else, I don't know what to say. I think now I can I can laugh at it and go like, hey, nice that it makes your whole weekend. <laughs> Thanks that my whole that my whole life that my life story makes your weekend. Um, uh, but it was difficult going through. Uh, and thank you for your really, really beautiful comments and your really, uh, you, you had really good compliments. Thank you very much. Um, and of course, I mean, the part of throwing, when I threw the monitor out, again, like I said, things had piled up, but there were so many unresolved issues. So it was really not the best way to deal with things, uh, but it's, that is done and we take responsibility for what we've done. Yes, good, good, good. Okay. Um, um, the next comment comes from at child of God 8365 and uh, they say how can a mother understand or feel for a monster a child molester how can the family defend him are they two child molesters five years only for destroying children I could have reported him the first day surely he was after his kids so there are a few things I want to talk about here um, and I think one of the, I'm going to start by saying what I said on the interview and I'll say until you are in a situation, you do not know how you would act. So you think that you would have reported him from the first day, but, uh, depending on what your issues were, depending on what you were going through, depending on what your situation is, you would probably act very different. Okay. That's that. Secondly, I want to go in and say that, um, and, 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 and I took this comment because a lot of you have written this kind of comments and a lot of this, this kind of comments directed to the family. And I want to categorically come here and say, you know what? Again, that is a story to tell. I do not want to get into that. I don't want to defend or 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 justify anyone's decisions. Uh, that is your story and that is your journey. But I just wanted to come in here and, and say that categorically. But also to say that, um, um, again, until you are in that situation, you do not know. Until it's your brother, you don't know whether you, you're going to defend him. Until it's your son, you do not know. Hypothetically, you think you know what you would do. 
Truth is, you don't. Until you're in that situation, you do not. Yes. Okay. The next um, comment comes from at Tricks and Bits 9185. And uh, they say, I have lived in Scandinavia for over 30 years and this happens. I hope this interview is help helpful to most. Hope you've taken notes. Uh, Pole Melissa. Sorry, Melissa. This is actually true. This is someone who's lived here for 30, who's lived in Scandinavia for 30 years and knows that this happens. And um, I too, like you, uh, tricks and bits. I hope that, that people have gotten um, something that they could learn from it and that they have um, the ones that needed wings to fly on a wind a wind beneath their their wings for them to you know set off and to get out of, of dysfunctional narcissistic relationships or marriages that they're able to now okay good thank you for your comment the next one comes from mongoi 11 and she says what a riveting story thank you for sharing your compelling story melissa my take home is god is restoring you to his original idea of you when he formed you when he formed you deep what an inspiring what an inspiring testimony of protection and grace he has afforded you and your beloved kids in a foreign foreign land in a foreign land where all the odds were stacked against you that's so true i also appreciate your tenacity and resilience to keep growing your vulnerability to share this and your insight to let therapy improve your quality of life god continue to light your path Wangoi, thank you very much for your comment. This is such a wholesome comment. Thank you very much. Um, um, and I took this comment basically because of what the takeaway, what her take home was. And um, that's really, that's really what the essence of me telling the story was. It's just to show that I am a pro product of grace, to just become that witness that I am really what God says he is. When he says he's faithful, I am that. I can, sh I can attest. I am a witness to his faithfulness. I am a witness to him keeping us i am a witness to him keeping us and protecting us i am a witness to him preserving us so this 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 is a such a wholesome wholesome comment to to read i was really blessed by this comment um because this is where my heart was when i was telling the story and this is what what i really wanted to put up there so thank you Wangui. so the next comment comes from trish m cube 3384 and you say Melissa, thank you so much for acknowledging the power of God through that difficult time. I'm so emotional because it can only be God who came through for you and your kids and your kids to fight and win the custody battle abroad is hard. Even here in this show, we have had someone who lost custody. Even here in, uh, in this show, we have had someone who lost custody battle in Switzerland, ended up sleeping in the airport for a whole year and ended up missing altogether because she was all alone. I thank God. For being with you all throughout you know what trish i you couldn't you couldn't have said it better it's true god god was really through uh, came through for me he was with us every step of the way i do not take it for granted at all at all at all i don't purport to i don't purport to be to be any any god's favorite or anything i do realize it is just his grace i did not do anything different than any than anyone else would have done why it not for god I honestly would be telling a very different story. So yes, I acknowledge him and his power throughout that. So the next comment comes from at Lee's 4134. And you say, whoever has never encountered a covert narcissist knows nothing of confusion and anxiety. Girl. Shikolis, girl. Yes. If you have not encountered a covert narcissist, I don't think you can fully say that you know what confusion is. You do not know what anxiety is because a covert narcissist put you through it. They really put you through it. They really put you through a ringer. They really do. Um, there's there's nothing but confusion and anxiety because what you think is, is a reality is actually not a reality. It's just it's just a whole thing. We're going to be talking about covert narcissists in another episode. But yeah, I feel you, girl. And I'm sorry that, that you've gone through that. I hope you're doing better. The next comment comes from at Martha Nkatha, 2360. And she says, well narrated story, beautiful storyteller and host. Ha happy you pulled yourself out of this, Melissa. And Sasa, where did you buy your dress from, Melissa? Um, thank you. Thank you very much for your comment, Martha Nkatha. Uh, and I just want to say one little thing. I did not pull myself out of this. God did. Good. God really pulled me out of it. So um, the wisdom from God and the strength from him really is what, what got me out of it. Out of it. 
so I didn't really do it myself. But thank you. I understand what you're saying. Thank you. And as from the dress, it's a Shein dress. I will put the link down here. And a lot of you also asked about that. That's also why I put this comment here because you asked about the dress. I'm going to put it, put the link down here. You can go and get it. Get it. I really like it. And thank you for liking the dress as well. Um. Yes. The next. Um. The next. Um. A comment comes from a lady called Boss Lady ninety one ninety eight, and she says, "Lies. Nobody disconnects electricity abroad." And somebody wrote under that, "Muitu." Monene, I can't say that word. That I can't read that um, user handle. But they said people here are not skeptics. It annoys me that they never question anything. Um, yes. Okay. Now you say that that I'm lying. That nobody uh, disconnects electricity abroad. I do not get into the. I do not get into the whole story of that because that's another whole story about what happened there. But um, for those of you who've, li who've lived abroad, they know that uh, and have not paid their bills for a long time, know that this is actually something that can happen. It can be cut off. They don't do it like they do it in Kenya where KPLC will come because of a month or two. But if you have not paid for, for two, three years, yes, they can, they can disconnect power from you. They can disconnect you from the grid. Um, so, yes. Well, if it has, has, hasn't happened to you, Glory to God, I and, I and I pray that it never happens to you, uh, but it happened to me, it happened to us, it's my story, it's my it's my experience, I lived through it, um, and you saying that it's a lie does not invalidate it, doesn't make it not, that it's not, it didn't happen, it happened anyway, um, but yeah, and uh, again, skepticism, I don't know what you're looking for. If you're looking, if there's an angle that you're looking for when you're listening to a story, when someone is telling their own story from their own po point of view, if there's, there's something that you're looking for in that, uh, an angle that you're looking for, then that's on you. That's not on me. I'm not here to fulfill what, what agenda you want to meet. Okay? That was all. Let's move on. The next comment comes from Sandra, Sandra Rarini. I hope I said that well. Sandra Rarini, um, 6195, and you said, thank you, Melissa. I'm glad you, you're strong. However, I think you blew everything out of proportion. You sent him to prison because you were triggered by his trip to, to, to the Philippines. I may be wrong, but most people watch porn online. He didn't abuse any child, and even after prison, you complicated everything and barred him from seeing the kids. Maybe you were still mad, and I'm sorry if I'm wrong in my judgment. And um, someone commented on that, and I'll read what comment they, they wrote before I, I react. And this person is Doris K1177, and you said, Melissa gave him a lot of time to seek help, but he was not willing to. The next victims would have been their children, so I don't think it was out of proportion. Thank you, Doris, for that comment. Um, and I think that's actually the truth. I did give him a lot of time to figure figure this thing out. Um, um, and... Uh, and of course, I worried for my children. Uh, I, I protected them as much as I could, uh, but I also worried for them. I really worried for them. Um, and no, just to set things straight, you said, uh, Sandra, you said that uh, you think I sent him to prison because I was triggered by his trip to the Philippines. No, I was not triggered by his trip to the Philippines. I was actually very happy he was living because then I could get the time to collect the evidence I needed to put him away. So I think you might have misunderstood something there. But uh, thank you for your comment. So the next comment comes from at Mary Goretti Chepsaba, 3326. And you say, congratulations, Melissa, for sharing this heroic story of bravery and God's favor in a foreign land. I hope my daughters read this and be encouraged. One was married to a narcissist who even abandoned church and joined atheism. Finally, he abandoned his family and walked out. My daughter is still undergoing therapy. It's not easy. We are all affected. Thanks for this episode. Mary Goretti, I hope you're, I really, really hope that your daughter is doing much better. Um, it's, I think it must be a very difficult thing as a parent to watch your child go through a marriage with a narcissistic person. Um, I think that's one of the hardest things because as, as parents, we want the best for our children. So I cannot even begin to imagine your pain. I cannot begin to imagine what you, what, what, what your emotions are and how you feel about the situation that that your phone, your daughter finds herself in. Uh, but I want to encourage you and say that God is faithful, 
and if there's anybody who is a testament to that it is me my sharing these stories to show you and to help you understand that if he's faithful to me me who is as flawed as as everyone else you know i'm as, as human as as you are i'm not special in any way shape or form the same grace that he gives me the same unmerited favor that he affords me he affords also you and your daughter so stand on the promise that 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 his grace is sufficient um and and i'd also maybe encourage you to just take the time to pray and find out what strategy to use um narcissistic marriages are not those that you can just get out of that you need divine strategy i i you really do need strategy and you need a good strategy and i just i don't know a better strategy maker than god so reach out to him ask him for a strategy he will give you one he will give you one that will help you out of that situation so yeah mary Goretti, i will um, i will pray for you and and for your daughter as well the next um, comment comes from someone who calls himself Junior Kering8953. And they said, she is mean, Walai, forgive him for you to heal. Uh, Junior Kering, I am healed. And he's forgiven. He was forgiven a long time ago. And no, I am not mean. I am not mean in any way, shape or form. I just will not enable. Okay, good. Now that we have that settled, let's move on to the next comment, which is coming from um, Moses Omondi, 1959. And you say, Melissa, God is not done with you yet. This is your new dawn. You have spoken for thousands of us out here and became an eye opener for those who have dreams to fly out. Car or, or those of that, uh, those who have dreams to fly out, carrying same dreams. A brave soul. God bless you and your lineage for me. Asante Sana, thank you so much, Moses Omondi, for your comment. Thank you very much. Um, um, yeah, and I would say if you do have the dreams of, of flying out and, and living abroad, ask God, ask God. I don't know. I, I know this will sound like a cliche at the end of this video and probably because <laughs> I, I said it also in the, in, on Lynn's video, but God is such a strategy maker. He's, he is. And uh, he also says that he gives us the desires of our hearts. And I really, really do believe that. I'm, I'm a firm believer that God is who he says he is because I've witnessed it in my life. So when I just look up and find out what he says he is, and then I go to him and I go like, hey, dude, you said you're a, you're, you give us the desires of our hearts. I desire to live abroad. What's the strategy? What are we doing here? You know, do that. Try it. Don't knock it. Don't knock it until you try it. Try it out and then come and tell me. Sour, sour. Okay, Moses, I wish you all the best. Um, yes, and I'll pray for you as well. Good. The next uh, uh, the next comment comes from Millicent Wangoi, 2668. And you say, you are a wonderful lady and very articulate. God, got, uh, God has got your back. But along the way, you said about, you said about knowing where your ex problem originated from even though you stated you did you can't disclose anyway it might be a family altar which had bound him please pray for your son not to be in this mix you know the word of god and you know the word of god disconnect him from the altar i may be wrong but uh, uh, dot 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 my thoughts though at Millicent Wangoi, thank you very much for your very warm compliments, Asante Sana. And thank you for letting me know and reminding me that God has always got my back. And in that breath, I will also say nothing is wrong with my son. And my son is not part of any family lineage, nothing like that, because he is born again. And the blood that sets, the blood that sets, uh, that, that breaks every curse is on his life. So no, no worries there. No worries at all about my son being in any mix of, at all none at all but thank you i do appreciate your comment and i also know where you're coming from so thank you very much for thank you very much for taking the time to comment yes so the next comment comes from uh, at faith mulera 9428 and you say i have been learning about restoration and this is it at faith mulera 9428 thank you thank you that's a comment that really warms my heart Asante Sana, thank you very, 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 very much. Um, uh, the next one um, comes from at Elsie Kendi 9621, and you ask, was he imprisoned imprisoned for watching pornography, or, well, no, he was not imprisoned for watching pornography. If you did watch the whole video, you know what? 
go back to the LNN interview and watch the video again. You know why he went to prison. I wouldn't answer that here. Uh, I already answered on that on that video. So go in there and, and watch and understand. Watch to understand, not for Kiki. All right, good. Um, and Elsie, but Elsie, if you don't understand, maybe come back. I'll explain. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Good. The next comment comes from at Annabelle Kenya thirty nine ninety four, and this is a schoolmate of mine. Another one, Melissa, my schoolmate. You never stop being a storyteller. The fact is, you are a strong woman, and thanks for the inspiration. Thank you, Annabelle. Asante Sala. Thank you. Thank you for hopping up, and thank you for watching the story. And yes, it, yes, I've always been a storyteller. I have always told very good stories. Um, yeah, and storytellers really tell stories from life, right? So yeah. Thank you. Uh, the next one comes from. It's I can't read this. It's at user gt three something, bro. You know yourself, or person. You know yourself, and you say pornograph zilipuza watoto wow. And why was he in prison? Okay, so you're asking. You're asking if the pornography was about our children, and when and why he was in prison. No, again. Watch to understand. Please go to the video. Go to back to the LNN video. It's linked down here. Go watch it and understand. Please watch to understand. There are comments like this that I just don't know what to do about because uh, nothing was unclear there. Um, um, the next one comes from Okwash at Okwash one, and you say Melissa is a good good story storyteller. I just feel that she should have talked to the parents, especially the mother, before calling the police. Wengiwao is just the video only and do not go beyond. So what you're saying is here is that a lot of white people have, have uh, these proclivities and but a lot of them just watch and they do not go beyond that. I have I've lived in Germany from late 90s to, to around 2009. It was a time when so many young Kenyan opera girls came to Kenya, uh, came to Germany. Those girls went through a lot in the name of looking for papers. Good. Okay. At Okwash one, thank you for your comment and, and for your compliment. Um, I do understand where you're coming from when you say that I should have talked to the parents, especially the mother, before calling the police. Um, I just don't know what difference it would have made. I do not know what difference it would have made. I am a mother myself, and and I, I put myself through in her shoes even through that. Um, and and would I have wanted to know as a mother probably, but what would what could I have done? Nothing really helpful. I wouldn't have done anything to be able to help uh, because at this point, again, I was dealing with someone who had who had had a lot of chance, uh, chances and a lot of time to change and to make the right decision to get help that was not getting the help. So I don't see any difference that the mother would have made. So it's just been helpful for the mother to know that they tried to do something and they were not able to do that. So in that way, I I think that I I showed grace to my to my ex mother in, in law. By not informing her of a hopeless situation that she would have felt hopeless, she would have felt hopeless that she was not able to to uh, to change or to help her son um, fix, because that's what mothers do. They help their children, and if they're not able to, they can feel very very powerless. And this would have been one situation like that. Uh, and then you say something else, the part that you wrote in Swahili where you say that a lot of white people have these proclivities, but that, that most of them just watch the videos and don't go beyond. Again, watching watching the videos does does increase. Um, again, watching the videos does increase the, the the demand for such videos to be made. So even that is a, is a, is is a crime in itself. So whether they are just watching or, or whether they go beyond, it is still a crime and we are not going to enable here. Okay, we move on to the next comment. Uh, and the next comment comes from at Belinda Bibo 83, uh, 8834. And you say, just a correction, please. It is not child pornography. It is child sexual abuse. Describing it as pornography implies that the child is a willing participant, which they never do and are not an are not at an age to, to legally consent to sexual abuse. Uh, at Belinda, I agree with what you're saying, but in a matter of speaking and and, and, and legally, um, child sex abuse and child pornography are, are two distinct things. And what I was talking about was, was, was child pornography because that is what I had proof of. Uh, child sex sexual abuse is another whole thing. And it is also, child pornography is also child sex abuse, but there are two different laws that, that govern that. Um, and I'm not about to start um, uh, putting things that I have no evidence about, uh, speaking about stuff I do not know, 
but I understand what you're saying. I know what you're saying here. Um, the fact that children do not have, they, 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 they cannot give consent and all that. I understand what you're saying. I understand where your heart is. But the law is very, very hard with such, certain things. And I would not want to bring about a, a lawsuit, uh, you know, about something like this. So child pornography is what the conviction was about and not child sexual abuse. Um, so, but I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. But I just wanted to clarify that. Um, yes. And again, I also say there's a, there's a lot of there's a lot about that story that is his to tell that I don't need. I don't feel the need to talk about. Um, my whole point was really about restoration and grace. Um, so, so there's parts of this that, that that I didn't cover in that interview, and I probably will not talk about because that's not my story again to tell. But thank you for your comment, Belinda. The next comment comes from. Uh, from at Diana sit okay I can't say that word uh, looks it looks like a curse word so I wouldn't say it but uh, at Diana I'll put it down here and you say Melissa you are God sent you don't know how many people you have helped how can I con uh, how can I contact contact you okay contact you is what you're saying um candy anyone who wants to contact me can dm me on instagram at finding shiro podcast i'm answering all messages there uh privately um and also if you have any questions on gastric sleep just go in and and and, and contact me there and i'll get back to you okay and give me grace please a lot of people are writing so give me grace if i don't get back to you right away just know that i'm i'm working on it okay great great the next um the next comment comes from uh let me see 42 we're at 42 minutes i have so many comments here Okay, so the next comment comes from at Gail M 4324 and you say two things I think she did wrong telling a man you're living and letting him know you saw his pedof pedophile material. Those things could have gotten you hurt or killed and some Veronica 1323 said very true never try that. I do understand ladies I understand where you're coming from. Um, I do understand where you're coming from when you say this. Um, but again, I was not working alone. I was working from a strategy that, that was God-given, that was divine. So I did what I was instructed to do and what where God was leading me, where I felt God was leading me. So that's why I did that. Having said that, I'm not telling you to tell an abuser that you're leaving them. I'm not telling you to tell an, an abuser that you found their things. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. I was very clear about why I was why I was telling him the things I was telling him. Um and in the long run, because it was a strategy that God had given me, it worked out fine because of God, of course, God knows the beginning to the end and was there protecting us. So, but I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. If you're in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in such a situation, um, ask for strategy, just ask for strategy, ask him, by the way, he will tell you, he'll give you a strategy. The next comment comes from at lazy mail uh, 683 and you said you should have reported him the minute you found out. I actually feel irritated by your choice to wait. That's a man you kick out of your life for good. Your kids shouldn't have had him in their lives. That's a sick man. Leslie, I again, I think I will say until you know, until you're in a situation, you do not know what, how you're going to react. You do not know what to do. Um, I'm, I'm sorry that you feel irritated by my choice uh to wait uh, but but again it doesn't bother me at all um i agree with you that's a man that you kick out of your out of out of your life yes and he's not in my life anymore and he's not in my children's lives so i think i did that as well but did it with grace um living making sure that everybody had got the, the chance that they needed to get because i also re believe in redemption i re believe in redemption i do not believe in leaving people when they are when they are at their lowest but uh, giving them chances to show that they are willing to change, to show that they are willing to 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 do better. If they are not, then you believe. Again, I'm not saying enable anybody. That's what I'm saying. Two different things, two different concepts. Okay, we'll be talking about this kind of things because I feel like there is a lot of things that we need to talk about because not not every there are very. This is not a like one blanket cover all. <laughs> I don't know if you know what I mean. This is not like one 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 solution fits all. It's not. People go through different situations and different situations call for different solutions. Okay, good. That was my solution. That probably it probably wouldn't work for you. It worked for me, and I thank God. The next uh, comment comes from at Berlin Institute eighty three eighteen. And he say you run to white man thinking he is God. I don't know where you got that from, 
I just we just let the flame pass. So, at Berlin Institute eighty three eighteen says you run to white man thinking he's God. Mm, no, no, I did not think he was God at any time. He was not coming to save me from anything. He was not going to be my my personal savior. I did not give that impression at all that that um, that I was running to him uh, as as my God. I didn't I didn't really give that impression, and that was not the impression, and that was not. My, that's not my truth um but if that's what you got from this story maybe i think you need to rewatch it i think the other things the other nuggets that you can pick up from that story okay wish you well the next uh, comment comes from at justin aluma 20, uh, 42 45 and you say thank you for sh for sharing your story you need to write a book about your experience i'm a social worker myself i'm glad they worked with you and not against you at, um, at Justine, thank you very much for your comment. I am going to be writing a book. I'm actually in the process of writing a book. I started writing this story last year. I'm still working on it. Um, and thank you for being a social worker. I know my life was really, really impacted by the social workers I had. So thank you for being there. Thank you for taking up a calling. And I hope that you are able to serve people who are stuck in different situations and, and help them feel unstuck and move on to and, and get a new lease of life. So thank you and thank you for being you. Uh, the next comment comes from at Susanna2690 and you said I'm married to a covert narcissist. Whenever I say I say we break up, he pretends to be sick and admitted in the hospital. This is so accurate. This is just, I took this comment because this is one of those that just shows what a covert narcissist is like just shows you how they act. So this woman says, uh, when she says she wants to break up, this guy will pretend he's sick and admitted in the hospital. Yeah, yeah, that, those are the kind of things that, that covert narcissists will take you through. They will take you through. <laughs> Ooh, they take you through a lot. I laugh now because I am over it and I am out of it and I am healed. But when you're going through it, it's not funny. That's actually another comment that I got, that I saw. I don't know if I put it here, that someone say, said that they didn't believe my story because I was laughing. We are healed. This is how healing looks like. When you're healed, you don't even look like you went through it. Okay. So I'm sorry that you don't, I don't, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you think or you feel that I don't look like I've gone through what I've gone through. Uh, but I'm also happy that I don't look like what I went through. You just, uh, you, when you make comments like that, you show me really how, how grace has covered my life. You really go in and show me how, how much God loves me. Uh, because if I don't look like what I've been through, damn, he's good. He's good and he restores very, very well. So yeah, just just adds to, to what I'm saying. I'm, that I'm a product, product of grace, really. Um, uh, at 56, Manya says, sadly, this is happening at our Kenyan beaches. We need a, we need a demo at beaches, Masaya Gioni, so in the evening times, because our babies are being exploited by some old white people. Um... At 56 Mania, I actually know this. I did a whole paper for my master's. I'm, I'm, I'm trained in the, in the tourism industry and I, were, I worked I worked a lot in the coast. Um, and for my master's, master's thesis, I wrote about uh, sex tourism in, 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 um, in Malindi. And so I know that this happens, sadly. Um, and I'm working on a way of trying to, trying with my network, I'm trying to see what solution we can find to make sure that we help the kids that are there because it's not it's not it's not only the children that are hurt it's this is generational so there's a lot more the 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 roots of this what happens on the kenyan beaches are much much deeper than what is um what, what you see which is children um walking around with the zungus but um yeah we'll um we're working on something good Okay, the next um, the next comment comes from at Sally Klaus World nineteen ninety four, and you say, "Wow, re wow, respect Melissa, and for choosing you and your kids even without knowing how to fight the big fight. Unfortunately, many black women lose the battle, and they end up losing kids, turning mad, or being deported. Really, God's grace has been upon you, Lynn. You are blessed. Yes, Lynn, you are very blessed, and thank you. Um, and at Sally, Sally Klaus, this is actually true. This happens a lot, uh, and not just specifically Denmark. It happens a lot in Europe. It happens also in the America, uh, in the Americas. Um, actually, foreign lands, very many foreign places. Women, black women, especially, lose their children uh, during custody battles. Um, so I, I do know, I do know that 
I am really a product of grace. I do know. I am not I am not the normal. I'm not the norm. I do know. I know that my story is different. I know that. And I know that people that have gone through a lot. Um and uh, again, in my own little way, however God allows me to, I will I will help uplift a woman. I will help uh, give wisdom to a woman who needs the help that they need to get out of it and uh, and get strategy on how to how to do the custody battle. Okay. The next one comes from oh another schoolmate. Okay, at Teresa Kenya six thirty, and you say you look great, Melissa. We were in Chagoria girls same year. More grace and light to you and yours. I took this comment because a lot of you are asking me what school I went to. You got your answer. Chagoria Girls is where I went to. Uh, I went to both Chagoria Boarding and I don't know if you can hear the dogs. Okay. You decided to become the main star. Huh? We've got little puppies here. Uh, anyway, I went to Chagoria Boarding um, in February um, and then I went to the Chagoria Girls High School after that. So a lot of people were asking that question. Now you know where I went to school. The next one comes from at Jacinta Owino, uh, 1846. And you say, from Melissa's story, I have learned that some things, some things happen, happens in our lives for God to bring you out of it and his name be glorified. And that's why even if you were in a foreign country and God being on your side, it was victory after victory. And this is true. This is true. This nothing says uh, uh, the Bible says that um, He knows us. He knows. He knows. He had a thought of us. He knew what He was creating us for, and He knew our days from the, from you know from the start to the end. Um, and uh, yes, we go through certain things for His name to be glorified. It's true. And uh, the the danger becomes when we forget to glorify Him. So we are glorifying Him for for putting for showing up and and for protecting us and and for giving us victory after victory thank you very much jacinta at Rita sauce peter kati 3355 you say mercy pole sana mimi niko stockholm nilipitia mambo kama hayo lakini nilia keep mwenyewe lakini miokoka mungu jehova amenipa nguvu je unaenda kanisa gani jina lipo hapa sweden je lipo hapa sweden okay 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 let's translate that you say uh I'm sorry for what you went through. Uh, you say that you're in Stockholm and you have also gone through something similar, uh, but you kept it to yourself. Uh, you say that you're born again and, and that God has given you strength. I am happy for that, that, that you find strength in God because that's the best place you can be, girl. And uh, then you ask me what church I go to. I go to Sound Kierke Center. I'm going to put a link down here. And uh, you ask if it's in Sweden. No, they, they don't have that church in Sweden. But I can refer you, if you're looking for a church in Sweden, you say you're, you're in Stockholm, I can refer you to a church in Stockholm if, you, if you're looking for one. Okay, good. Um, oh, this comment, let me tell you. Ah, this one I had to put here. <laughs> okay, at Teresian and Jerry 9848, you made my day. You really did. And you said, you remind me of Chimamanda. Ah! Oh my goodness. Chimamanda is my absolute favorite author. She is, I have read everything that she's written. Beat a small paper, beat a, beat a book. I've read everything. I am such a Chimamanda fan. And this came in and I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is such a compliment. Thank you very much. Uh, whatever, whatever about me that makes you, rem that makes you think of Chimamanda. Uh, I don't know. Tell me what, what it is because I want to know so I can keep doing a lot more of that because oh God. Oh, I'm such a fan. I'm such a fan. Uh, thank you very much, Tracy and Jerry, uh, 9848. The next comment comes at Vidal Madi, 852. And he said, I'm so in need of your contact. Where can I get this surgery to? Melissa, please help me send your doctor's number. So, you guys wrote a lot of these comments. And you also wrote a lot of them on my YouTube channel you know, in this channel as well, you've also written that. And also on Instagram, a lot of you have been asking this. And I went to my to my clinic and I talked to the doctors and they decided to make me a patient coordinator. So I become the link between you and the clinic. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. See God. 
see god so if you need if you need the surgery if you need uh, the gastric sleeve surgery done and you want to to use a clinic that i used i am now a patient coordinator i can help you fix that if you're in kenya we can help you with, with visas actually it doesn't matter where you are we can help you get visas to tax to turkey to get the surgery done um and uh we're also working on bringing the surgeons to kenya for for some surgeries here if we do get someone that we can work with if we get a hospital that we can work with here then we can get the surgeons here if they have the, the facilities here all right good so uh vida malad vidal vidala vidala madi please reach me on uh dm me on instagram dm me on instagram and uh we'll take it from there the next comment um uh the next comment comes from uh from at miss Aching 179 and you say i love melissa she's so much like me i love love her you are a victim you met him online he got you a cam he married you when you were young it all adds up you were the victim that spoke up product of grace mr Cheng, yes i i do agree with you yes I was I was a victim. I don't know if he's had if there were other victims before me, but I was also a victim. Um, just, God just kept me. He just kept me and mine, and I'm grateful for that. I'm really really grateful for that. I don't know if the light is looking funny because no. Okay, we'll see. Um, the next one comes from hmm, at Sembali Sembali. Or Michael, Zimbali or Michael, I don't know what. 8790. But you say, very sorry about all you had you had to put up with. Thank you so much for sharing this wonderful but very dis devastating experience or journey. I think you have given me the courage to share my experience as it ain't too far from your story. I, will, I am depressed. I'm depressed, um, covered in shame to share my experience. It hurts and, and it's so mentally and physically draining. This is this was a ran, random spot, but watch to the end. Uh, Ange from the UK. I'm really really sorry that you're going through such a difficult time. Um, I just want to say that anywhere the shame is, there is pain, and shame is just there to control. You know when you when the opposite of shame is truth. The opposite of shame is truth. It's not really a lie because why do people lie? People lie because they are ashamed. And they're fearful and all, all kinds of things. Lies are a side a side show. They're a symptom to what is really happening. Shame. 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 Tell your truth, girl. Tell your truth, girl. There's so much freedom that comes with, with just telling your truth. I'm not saying that if you're not ready to go on a platform and say you don't need to do that, find people that you can share, share it with. Find people that you can talk to, uh, that you can open up to. Therapy, therapy, therapy. And then also remember to talk to God. I don't know a better therapist than God. I don't know one that is better than God. And he's cheap. He's free. How about that? Yes. Good. I think I need to move this a little bit. Yes. I hope... Uh, I really hope that you can hear. I hope the, the sound is okay. There's a lot of noises around. Uh, <laughs> but now we are one hour in. This is going to be the quality. I'm sorry. I forgot. This dog is really becoming the main character energy. Giving main character energy. Okay. The next uh, comment uh, comes from at Salmam8983. And you say... Sorry. And you say, did you have a job all this time? Um, yes, I had part-time jobs. I couldn't. I was going to school, so I couldn't have a full-time job while going to school. So yes, I was. I had uh, part-time jobs. Yes, um, but they were te very temporary. I was not like um, fully employed. I didn't have a fixed amount of hours. I was a temp uh, for most of the time uh, that I was married. Yeah. Yes, the, the next comment has a lot of lot of Swahili. 
and I do know from Lynn Ngugi's uh, interview that you guys really came at us and came at me because I was speaking Kikuyu and I was speaking Swahili and there are many international um, uh, international people in her audience and that are also now part of my community so I really want to make sure that I don't speak a lot of Swahili and, uh, and that I translate whatever is said so let's see how we're going to do this I think we, I'm going to read and and com comment uh, because it's also a very long it's a, also a very long um a very long one anyway you say at mary wanga 49 59 you say see now buyer but sometimes as women to jaribu kukumbuka wema what other people do for us we should not do things for selfishness you must hear his story at a point i felt bad what this woman went through and she tried so hard ndio watoto wasiumie We'll start with that. You say that uh, you, you, you're you not trying to be mean or anything, but as women, we need to sometimes remember the good people do do, do for us and uh, that we should not do things out of selfishness. You listened to my story and you felt um, that and you felt bad about what I had gone through and that I tried very hard to make sure that the children did not get hurt. Um, but most Kenyan women, when they get to Europe, uh, when the love is over, they can do anything for paperwork. What the guy did was wrong, yes, but you felt also bad because he went to Philippines to see his side piece, and you decided to fix him so you did so you so you don't get deported. Which I feel that was a bad that was bad of you, since parents had already said if anything happened, you have a right to stay with them. They really liked you, but you set set their son up for your own benefit you, you should have told them like you got the guts to talk to, talk to the police and and tell and, and you should have told them that you didn't feel safe uh, with him and uh, i'm not quite sure what you're trying to say here and 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 who get you as a and you think you think that his parents would have understood me if i told them that um because what he was doing true was not right but since the feelings were already over. Uh, I you you think that I decided I decided to put him in jail because he has because he had, he had fallen in love with a Filipino woman, so that the Filipino woman did not get uh, did, did not get a, an opportunity to come to Europe. Uh, blood is thick, and trust me, even the day your children will know what I did to their father, they will not be happy. Uh, I should have just left him and, and allowed karma to strike him but but I but you say that I thought that going to Kenya and getting okay so this is but you thought of going to Kenya and apartheid custody corner good if you could uh, yeah but you thought but 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 because I didn't want to come to Kenya without my children and him getting custody I thought then you think that I fixed him that's why I fixed him uh, you call him I fixed him so I could get full custody and paperwork that's what most women do here in America I I, I think you're in America Marywanga, and you said that it's a shame uh there's a lot to unpack here Mary there's, this is such a lot a lot a lot to unpack here yeah. So at Mary Wanga, there's such a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot that you have here. And I feel, I took this comment because there were several like these ones of people who thought that I had uh, done, that my reporting my ex-husband to the authorities about the, crime, the crimes he was committing was a way of punishing him because he had a relationship with a Filipino woman. That is... <laughs> That's not the truth. It couldn't be further from the truth. Our relationship was way done by this time. So there was no point of me trying to... No, I was not jealous. I was not... We were done. We were done. And then to be quite honest, if he was not doing the crime that he was doing, I wouldn't have had to report him. So uh, I feel like you're projecting what you might have had or maybe experienced or seen other people experience uh, on me. And that has nothing to do with me. That's not my story. So uh, Mary... I do not forget any goodness anybody has done for me, not at all. I am I'm a very grateful person, and I'm grateful for the family. I'm actually very grateful. For, I'm, I still speak to some of them, um, and uh, yeah. So 
yeah i don't i don't know what point you are trying to make here because you re really didn't say anything about my story but really commented on what what you think i did was wrong or right and that is here neither here nor there does not change anything and uh and it's not the strategy i was working from it's not what god had told me to do so mm, thank you for your comment is what i'm going to say and thank you for watching the video yeah thank you for your opinion um uh, just doesn't count here thank you have a good day <laughs> good. so the next comment is um and i yeah this is another one of those very long comments that i really wanted also to to highlight here and this is at uh, from at marigold beam 5475 and you say so she covered up for a pedophile for one whole year so she could gain danish citizenship allowing children to continue to be abused for that in intervening year and her own children to be exposed uh, to that walking feces is, is my understanding correct and now she's being fitted as some sort of hero victim in this interview am i missing something furthermore this the so-called progressive danish authorities pol stroke police protect pedophiles too how on earth do they tell someone who's reporting a pedophile to go away and think about whether they want to report just because the perpetrator is her husband clearly children children's rights are not a priority in denmark and the sack of shit only got five years pedophiles are unrehabilitable rehabilitable that sack of shit will continue to abuse children especially because he has enablers like his evil mother protecting and excusing him there should be limits to what one can excuse even in their own child how would she the man's manner the man's mother a grown woman cope with her with being raped let alone a child the woman has no compassion no humanity and the lady in the inter interview is to be condemned for at least eventually exposing him i do recognize the extremely vulnerable position she is in as an african woman living in europe far from her people i got a lot some comments not a lot but some that were about the same as this um and i want to do i'm going to break this comment down because it's several things it touches on several things i'm going to start by the first part where you say so you covered up for a whole pedophile so you covered up for a pedophile for one whole year so you could gain danish citizenship uh, marigold i did not cover anyone i was looking for evidence okay yeah i was looking for evidence. there's a lot i did not when i told my story i did not go i i, I was not chronological about it I, I did not go minute by minute of my story i told the whole story because the, the whole idea was just to show highlight god's goodness and and show that he restores and and to show that um yeah, to show that he restores it was not really to tell um a, a chronological report of what my story is of what happened but no i was i did not cover anybody up so that i could get any any citizenship that i think you missed that, that if, if that's what came across that's not the, that's not what happened i was telling my story to show of, to tell of, of, a story of god's goodness and um and mercy and, and protection and all the good stuff uh, and not so much about how i got my my citizenship okay good um and then you uh, and then you talk about uh, that i'm being fitted as a hero victim i'm not a i'm not a hero and i'm not a victim <laughs> i am not i did not i do not want to be seen as a victim or a hero or, or anything anything like that i god has put me through the fire stood with me through the fire i am not a victim and no, no neither am i a hero god is a hero he pulled me through so no no one is fitting me as anything um and my children were not exposed to to any kind of danger i think i made that very clear also in the, in the interview so there's nothing to worry about there i do realize that there were other children that were also in, in danger but putting myself and my children in danger would not save those children there are other pedophiles than that 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 just one man you're talking about okay good um the other thing is that you go in on a rant where you attack the danish authorities and the police saying that they protect pedophiles you do not have that um you do not have any proof of that and i actually have proof that shows the opposite because when i went to the danish authorities as a wife i am protected and i've got immunity i don't that i'm not required by law to go and report my husband if he's doing a crime i'm not i'm not required by law i am protected by law as his wife but and and they 
they had to tell me that they had to give that give me that information so i had they gave me the counsel that i needed so that i could make the right decision for myself i do not see them as the, i do not see them as as people who are protecting a pedophile in any way set or form having said that i will also say that the kind of support that i've gotten from the danish society and the danish um, and the danish authorities um through my whole process has been unwavering and has been empowering so um I, I think I think you're you're wrong in your in your judgment of the Danish authorities and the police about them protecting pedophiles. Uh, that is not my that is not my experience. That's not what I've experienced. That's not what I've seen. Uh, there have been other stories that have come across. There, there are other people who have also gone through difficult things, and I will say that they. I, I think um, that the Danish authorities are very good at, at working with these issues. And, and and offering support in, in what you need so no and then you go out and say uh that children's rights are not a priority in denmark they are a right in fact when you get a divorce one of the things that they look at when they're looking at custody they don't look at the parents they look at the children's needs so i don't know a country that looks at the children's needs more than denmark um I, of course i only have have had a custody case in Denmark, so that's what I'll, 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 I will base this on. And maybe the other countries that, that do better, I don't know that story, it's not mine to tell. I tell my story, and that's what I know. Um, I, I do realize you say that uh, you talked about about his sentence, which is five years, and uh, that's actually uh, quite, uh, quite a big sentence in, in, in Denmark. Um, again, the Danes do not do not um, they do not imprison to to punish they they imprison to rehabilitate yeah, is there, even as you say you say here that uh, pedophiles are, are unrehabilitatable well that's up to you I don't know I don't know where you get this from um, there are cases where pedophiles well known pedophiles who actually work with agencies now to um, to support uh, families that go through these kind of things and to and to even work on cases uh, exposing other pedophiles. Um, have been there are some that have been rehabilitated. So it depends on how much you want to put, how much work you want to put in, and uh, what you, yeah, what you're willing to put in, and, and whether you really want to change. That's actually where it starts from. So it's more intrinsic than 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 the conditions that you have. Um, yes. Um, the other thing that you said, you talked about my uh, my my mother-in-law. And, and 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 has evil for protecting and excusing him and i want to say that i do not condemn that kind of um and i just want to go ahead and say that i don't condone that kind of talk again i said that is your story that is her story and and you uh, coming in on you know on a story that I've told from my perspective and and judging someone that you do not know anything about I think is a bit unfair so I would like for such comments to really stop um, you do not know who she is you do not know and I and I keep saying until you have gone through something you do not know how you would react you think you know how you'd react now you think you you call you're calling people a uh, sack of a sack of shit and all kinds of things evil and all that and i do understand this is something that is very that evokes a lot of emotion so i do understand where you're coming from i'm not really i'm not really negating the fact that this hurts and that there's, there's a crime that has been committed and the children were hurt that's all i'm saying what i'm saying is let's not call people names uh, let's not let's not term um, let's not purport to know what the mother was thinking or what 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 my ex mother in law was thinking what she was feeling. Let's not purport to to know what we would know what to do if we were in her shoes. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Let's extend grace. Is what I'm saying. Um, um, yes. Um, yeah. That's that's about the gist of the whole comment. Uh, I hope I, I I've gotten everything. Uh, but thank you again, Mary Goldbeam, for your for your comment. The next, uh, the next, uh, the next, uh, the next, uh, the next uh, comment is from uh, actually a friend of mine that I know, and she's actually uh, she's actually a YouTuber. So please go and follow her. Her name is at Kenyan Vlogger in Italy forty three forty four. That's what she uses. But I think she she um, vlogs under Liz in Italy. I think 
I'll put her, her channel down here. You go follow her. She does really dope content there. She's a fashionista. She's in Italy, girls. So if you like your fashion, go, go. She's, got, she's a fashion fix, girls. Um, and she says, I just love my Mel. I've known her since way back in Kenya when she was getting married. Then we both moved to Europe. Hi in Denmark and me in Italy. We have, born, we have both gone through narcissistic abuse. I asked for divorce in 2021 and I'm a single mom of two of two two she always uh, encourages me to keep going she rose and helps others rise go girl thank you so much Liz. thank you so much asante sana you know i love you and i treasure you you are you're wonderful you're a wonderful friend thank you very very much for being in my life and i wish you well and the kids well um yeah and actually she, i think she's also told her story on her, on her youtube channel so go and see it um so you can see that these things happen to people there yeah? They happen to people, and God gives us grace to 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 and different strategies in how we're going to deal with it. Okay, good. Thank you, Liz. Um, the next one comes at the real uh, comes from at the real deal one thirty, and you say, Lean, I love your show all the way from Nigeria. It would be very helpful if your guests didn't speak so much of a dialect, since you have an international audience. Although I love the way it sounds. Please use subtitles to closed caption to translate the parts that are not in English. Um, I do understand and I'm trying to make a difference here and I will make sure that if I go on again anywhere else, I will not speak a lot of my local language and Swahili. I'll make sure that I don't do that. And if we do, then I'll make sure to translate. Okay. I am sorry about that. <laughs> and then you also continue to say, as, your lovely, uh, uh, as for your lovely guest, African mothers have so much to answer for for regarding the suffering of their daughters she's on track to make a good life by herself in germany her mother ruined all that how did it make her financially how did making her financially dependent on a man in a foreign country help us help her she suffered needlessly due to her mother's bad interference why do you they keep undermining their daughters jealousy hatred envy narcissism i'm also the victim of a narcissistic mother who made me suffer needlessly through brutal neglect and rejection. It has taken me years to try and resolve my life, myself, my hopes and dreams. I'm starting my life all over again at 47 years old. At The Real Deal 130, I am really, really sorry about what you've gone through. I'm sorry that you have um, uh, a bad relationship with your mother. I'm sorry that you have gone through uh, what you call narcissistic, uh, you know, that, you, that your mother is narcissistic and that you went through um, neglect and uh, brutal neglect and re rejection. I'm sorry that you went through that. Um, however, I want to come up clear here and uh, and maybe, however, I want to come out clear and I want to come out here and make it clear that you're projecting on me, you're projecting your, your, your issues or you're projecting your experience on me. Uh, I see that you could maybe draw some parallels, but that's not my story. That is yours. I hope that you get healing. Uh, you say that you're starting your life all, all, all over again at 47 years old. You know what? It's never too late to start over. God is a God of second, third, fourth, 20, 50, whatever, how many, however many chances that you need. God is there and he restores us to the original idea of what he thought of us when he was creating us. So nothing, nothing is, nothing is too big for him. Nothing is beyond him. Uh, my, my mom did not sabotage. I don't, again, like I said in the interview, me coming back to, from Germany has, uh, and, and whatever reasons my mother had, I do, I still do not know them. I do not understand and I do not need to understand and I do not need to know what those reasons are in order to move on with my life. Um, uh, of course, I do realize and I drew the parallels in the fact that, that that situation made me want to run away from home and wanted, made, made, want, made me want to go back and you know find other ways of, of going back away because I felt very very uh, very um, uh, very uh, very betrayed because I felt very betrayed so I do understand I can see with the parallels that you're trying to draw there but having said that I intend on having a good relationship with my mother and I do understand that that as a mother we we make decisions for our children out of fear out of things we make decisions we we, we, all, we all make decisions from where we are and if if a mother is fearful for their child who is living in a country they have never stepped their foot on and they're told all these things about about what could happen to them then maybe the logic for them would be let me bring my child back home and and make uh, and keep her here where she's safe where i can see her where i can support her so again um i understand what you're saying and i'm sorry that you've gone through that 
uh, but I can see that you're projecting some of your issues on, 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 on and some of your experience on my experience and they're not the same. Uh, they might be similar, but they're not the same. Uh, there are some parallel, parallels to draw, but again, I take full responsibility for getting getting married. My mother did not introduce introduce me to my ex husband. Uh, my mother did not find him for me. My mother did not make make me uh, financially dependent on that white man. All those are choices I made myself, and I stand by them, and I take responsibility for each one of them. So yeah, I hope I've cleared that, and I took that comment because it, there there were others that meant. Uh, that came close to that so i think i've i've covered that um um i've covered that so don't come for my family or, or for my mother it's not about blaming or shaming or, or doing any kind of that that's not why i told the story and that's not the, where my heart is at all yes good now this next uh comment comes from at uh, school 23 786 and you say retired project developer love this expression because it applies to many women especially those of us that are empaths that's true yeah we empaths can get like that eh? we can get <laughs> we can be, become project developers but once we know what our, what our patterns are we we just we just retire from those jobs that we be us those titles that we that we've picked up along the ways once once we know what our patterns are we heal and then we saw right yes thank you for your comments um the next the next um the next uh comment is a very long one and i'm not really reacting to it i just want i just want to read it because it is it's such it it, it rings very true it's very very true and it comes from at susan carey 2662 and this is what you say if you meet someone and it all seems too good to be true then automatically take a step back and allow yourself time to evaluate your relationship. You might be dealing with a wolf in sheep's clothing. It's not that the Lord can't bless you with a beautiful relationship. Just be cautious and pray. Remain in prayer mode. If you sense something is wrong, don't brush it off. If you look long and hard enough into this person's lifestyle, demeanor and friends or lack thereof, you will eventually see the sharp teeth the thanks. If the individual always wanted to have you to themselves, it is not endearment. Don't lie and think, oh, they love me very much. Let this pique your curiosity. Truly open your eyes and listen more keenly to everything they say as they hide something. Um, ask soul searching questions in 10 different ways and you will get and you will get 10 different responses as liars can't keep up with their lies and they forget that their last and they and they forget and they'll forget their last responses back to you predators love to isolate their victims mind you a predator is anyone with an ulterior motive that that they must succeed in whatever their plan is you are their victim and they work very hard to hide their true purpose stroke intentions to ensnare you in their trap only after you are trapped does the predator reveal their true self young ladies if ever in doubt do not go and get pregnant within the first year of marriage as you are now trapped with as you are now trapped with the need to retain a relationship for the sake of a child request a honeymoon period when where you two can enjoy each other and you can be sure to observe and understand your mate two years a predator won't be able to keep their act for that long. Their fabricated life stroke story will start to crack and crumble and you will get a glimpse of the wolf lurking underneath. At that moment, you pack your bags and run. I too was a project manager. It never works. Don't ever think you can fix them. Get out. That is at Susan Carey 2662. That's what she says. And I totally agree with everything she says. I agree with everything, everything she says here. All the advice she gives, I agree with every single thing. Um, I like that she describes who a predator is because sometimes we think a predator is all kinds of things, but it's it's actually just somebody with an ulterior motive who just wants to, they, they don't want the best for you. That's a predator. Yeah. Um, yes. The next comment. Oh, yeah. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. At Susan Carey 2662. Thank you so much for that comment. Asante Sana. Um, and I hope people have been, have, been, have been able to learn from that. Uh, there's such, there are so many takeaways there. Thank you for that comment. Um, the next one comes from Moyo Wangu to 
Moyo wangu 2, 17, 74, and he say, turn back and go, even as even as you you're walking on the aisle. Oh, it's something that I said on the interview. Yes, when I said, even if you're walking down the aisle and you feel, mm -mm, go back. Yes, turn back and go, go. And then you say, hashtag jipende wewe kwanza, which means hashtag love yourself first. Yes, love yourself first. The Bible is very clear. Love others as you love yourself, right? Yes, you cannot know how to love others if you do not love yourself. So, love yourself first. Um, the next one comes from Ola Ola 7887. And it's a powerful story, articulately delivered. Thank you for being so brave. Is it possible that you put this in writing or adapted into a movie? It will surely reach a larger audience and many people in this kind of situation will gain from your God-given wisdom. Thank you so much for your uh, comment, Ola Ola. I, like I said, I'm working on the story. I'm working on a book. Um, I also write scripts and I do have a vision of, of writing it uh, as a script. I have a, a, a director friend of mine who also writes scripts. So thank you for this. Um, Something is coming out soon. Uh, yeah, watch it. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Pray for it. Pray for me. Pray for me that this uh, works out. Okay, good. Uh, but thank you, thank you for manifesting and putting it out there. I join your faith with my faith and anybody else who believes it, and this is gonna happen. Good, good. Thank you. Um, the last comment that I have here comes from Kiki with V sixty five ninety seven, and you say this is a this is such a good interview and lynn you are such a good interviewer yes lynn you are such a good interviewer so patient so you, you allow people to have the space to speak and to tell their story you you really are and i know i've told you this in person but i just felt like i wanted to also jump on that bandwagon there and say that as well the only suggestion i have is to please provide uh, uh english is pro is to please pro no. The only suggestion I have is to please provide an English translation when the convo splits into your mother tongue. For those of us who do not understand, I got the general meanings, I think, but I would have loved to understand the full con convo. In any case, I'll be watching. New subscriber, wish everyone uh, watching the best. Love from London, UK. And that's how we end this. Uh, thank you so much for all the comments. Um, like I said, we're going to try to keep it English. And if not, we're going to put subtitles about all the other filler words that we put. But I'll also say that some some of it is just filler words and not really words that mean a lot. <laughs> um, so you didn't really miss a lot from that story. Uh, Lynn was also very good at, at translating what, you know, the essence of what was being said when, when we said it in other languages. Yes? Good. So you didn't actually miss a lot. You didn't. But I understand how, that you might have felt uh, out of place and um, uh, that you didn't understand. Yes. So we'll do better. We'll do better. Okay. So thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for all the comments that you have sent and uh, um, uh, that you have sent to us to uh, either on the Lean Googie show or on the Lean Googie platform on that video and also on my channel here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate every one of you. Asante Sana. I am so blessed to have you in my community. Um, now let's grow this community and let's uh, curate a place where we can have really open, open-hearted conversations because that's what love, that's what I am about, and um, and that's that's the direction that I feel the Lord is leading uh, to give uh, purpose to my pain. Uh, yes, so I welcome you to this journey. And uh, Asante Sana, that means thank you very much for watching. Until next time, Koheri. Koheri means goodbye, okay? So until next time, Koheri. See you.